Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session, we are going to discuss reference data types in PL SQL. A reference data types, basically they are also called as records and it is a group of related data items stored in fields, each with its own name and its own data type. The fields correspond to table columns. So, reference data types, uh, it is related to referencing to another already existing data type. Basically, any PL SQL program, it uh, requires uh, values, you know, which can be stored into variables or other fields. It uh, does not need, you know, a table like uh, columns and rows kind of structure. It needs values and those values can be stored into um, some kind of variables, constants and other such fields. Now, when you want to store a value into a variable, you need to declare the variable and variable should have a data type and basically that data type should be matching to uh, the data type of the value. In other words, the data type of the variable should be matching uh, to the data type of a particular column in a table. So, if you write a program, therein you could find that uh, on the data type of the variable that you declare, you know, you need to make it matching to the uh, column of a table. I will write a program and I will show an example of that first before I explain how do we use reference data type to achieve the same purpose. Look at this program. Uh, this program, uh, it intends to fetch uh, basic information of employees uh, based on employee from the employees table. So, here I have declared two variables name and cell. Name its data type is varchar 2 of 50 and cell its data type is number of 8 comma 2. Now, these two variables will store the values from first name and salary columns. And these variables, I mean these data types are there, they are as per the data types of first name and salary, right. So, when I run this program, I declare, uh, I mean I select one record from the table and you could see the output is here, right. So, this value, the character value which was stored in the column first name, in this program I am storing that in the variable name. So, the data type of the variable name and the data type of the column first name, it should be same or it should be at least similar so that this value can be stored into this variable, right. Now, coming to reference data types, by using reference data types, you do not have to, you know, declare a separate variable. You just have to refer to the columns, uh, to the column in the table and whatever is the data type of the column in the variable, uh, that data type, you know, will be applicable here. So, to achieve this, you basically have two types of uh, reference data types. It is percent type and percent row type. Basically, percent type refers to a particular column. It stores uh, one value from that particular column into the variable. On the other hand, percent row type, it refers to the whole record and all the values in that particular record are stored into, you know, the variable where you use percent row type. So, what is the syntax for these variables and how do we use them? We shall see. First of all, percent type, the syntax to declare this, uh, the syntax to declare the variable with percent type, you could see on the screen, variable uh, space table name dot column name percent type. Example, e name employees dot first name percent type. So, whatever is the data type of first name, it will be applicable to e name. So, percent row type works like this. Let me show you the same example, uh, but this time using percent type. 
look at this program here I have declared name sal job uh, three variables and look at the data types of these variables for name I have given employees uh, dot first name percent type for sal I have given employees dot salary percent type for job I have given employees dot job ID percent type. So, these are the variables uh, whose data type itself does not declare any type as such instead it is just references to employees tables these respective columns right and uh, here in the select statement select first name salary job id into name sal job right so first name the value in the column first name will go into name the value in the column salary will go into sal and the value in the column job id will go into the job variable right now here i enter the value for employee id and you could see the output the output is one character value a number value and one more character value so percent type basically works like this you can simply use it uh, as a variable as a reference data type uh, you can simply use it as a reference data type so instead of declaring any static data type you can simply declare it as a percent type attribute and this will reference to you know the column in that particular table now the advantage of this is that even if the data type or the data size of a particular column in the table changes uh, percent type will still keep referencing to the present available data type so once you write this program then you do not have to make any changes in the program even if there are changes in the table schema now going forward the next type is percent row type percent row type it stores the whole record as one single field or in fact a collection of fields uh, into the variable and you could see the variable declaration as well variable space table name percent row type please check the difference here for percent type it is table name dot column name percent type whereas for percent row type it is table name percent row type that means look at the example emp is the variable i am declaring here and the table name employees percent row type so all the values from a particular record of employees table will be stored into the variable emp and when we access uh, the data from or when we access the values from this variable we can access it using variable name dot column name how it works i will show an example look at this program in this program i have declared only one variable which is percent row type type of variable emp employees percent row type so this variable refers to the whole record uh, from employees table now look at the select statement select first name salary job id into emp dot first name emp dot salary emp dot job id from employees where employee id equals i will give an employee id so understand the structure the value from the column first name will be stored into the variable emp dot first name the value from the column salary will be stored into emp dot salary and the value from the column job id will be stored into emp dot job id even afterwards also when accessing these variables you access them in the same way you could see here i am getting the output of these variables uh, in a dop statement as a screen output so here as well you could see emp dot first name emp dot salary as well as uh, emp dot job id when i run this program i should get the same output as the previous one and you could see the same output is here character value number value and again one more character value so basically these are the two reference data types 
percent type and percent row type. Percent type refers to a value of a particular column. Percent row type refers to the whole record as a, you know collection of fields. So, that is little about reference data types. Thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos, please visit nourishtechnologies on youtube.com.